Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Now, interesting developments, a lot of great stuff overall. There's been a lot of support for the recent videos. Uh, I believe it might be due to a, a, the, the refinement that I've made over over this large course of time that I've been on YouTube. If you go back to my later videos, I, I certainly did go through a metamorphosis of sorts. I went from a, a pouty, angry teenager to I mean, I wouldn't say a full-fledged adult yet, but definitely somebody that, that is headed in the right direction from what I see. But, unfortunately, that can't be said about Nicholas DiOrio. So, Nicholas DiOrio. What do we know about him? Well, according to Tommy C, and most of these commentary clowns, I mean, commentary gods, he is one of the most level-headed Oh my gee, intellectuals in this pyro thing, you should totally check out his video. That's not networking at all, is it? So, right off the bat, I'm gonna stop BSing you guys and just say, Nicholas DiOrio is not a level-headed person and he is not someone you should fucking trust. Here's the reason why. I'll go into his spurg out on Twitter that I had with him, you know, a little back and forth where he was just a little upset, a little upset. We'll go into that, but mainly, points on DiOrio, first of all, Turkey Tom literally promoted his fucking video. If that's not red flag number one, then we'll move on to red flag number two. Red flag number two was actually revealed by Keemstar in sheer stupidity, where he tried to bury diesel patches, but in doing so, he accidentally revealed that these people actually conspire against Spirocynical. When you conspire against someone, you can fabricate evidence, put things together, plan things maliciously in order to attack someone, most importantly, their character. And in this case, it wouldn't be too hard to do. Given Keemstar's track record, given how these commentary channels operate, given how they're still trying to do damage control for one another, and given how the Oreo specifically picks out what commentary channels to shine the spotlight on while he calls the other shit, as well as other random Twitter users shit, I think it's safe to say that these guys are malicious and they plan things out. It's all way too convenient, the timing, the way they promote each other's content but not other people's content. If they really want to give a 50-50 split on what's true and not true, why wouldn't they show, I don't know, people that they've acknowledged that have decent arguments against them? Or say me or somebody else throws logic in their face, they kind of resort to other shit, you know, not not actually answering the question, massive deflex, ad hominem attacks at the very end of the day. It's quite sad really but that's that's the state we're in and that's why i'm gonna keep poking at it if they want to keep poking at something then i will keep poking at them too i will systematically methodically have pleasure in taking them apart little by little basically i don't like these people <laughs> so we're gonna start off with the infamous tweet made yesterday which was used to try to disqualify Pyro's response or try to poke holes in the logic by basically saying, well, Pyro has lied once in his life before, therefore he is lying about this. Okay, great fucking logic. So I made a video which actually picked up steam thanks to you guys, because you guys upvoted the video, and it was first limited at it, and then it got unlimited at it, so thanks. I'd really appreciate the likes going up, because it seems to be working, and because of the video itself, well, I don't want to take full credit, this might be my narcissism kicking in just a little bit, but uh, the, the, tweet, the, the tweet was mysteriously deleted by the author, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, well, I wonder why that happened. Now, the Oreo made a stupid excuse that, oh, well guys, it, it was just convenient timing that uh, these uh, individuals got hit with, uh, with something and they need to delete all their media posts, ha -ha, or something like that, that's what he said. So I guess we gotta take the Oreo, sneaky the Oreo's word for it. Okay, sure, whatever, but I, I'm, I'm sure that's really what happened. I think the most interesting part though is the fact that the Oreo knows who I am. So I wouldn't put put it past him to actually go to one of my videos on my tweets because I, I link my videos on my tweets whenever I post them out as well as my community tab. So I wouldn't be surprised if he went and he saw my, my video 
and and then he came back and he said maybe it's time that you took down that tweet i, I just running to a conclusion right pattern of behavior that's what diorio wants to go with that's what he stated he believes in that okay mofo we will use the same logic against you pattern of behavior on you keemstar and the commentary clowns i doubt you guys want that but if you want to go that route sure i can go that route i can probably go no <laughs> i can go about it a lot better than any of you guys can because unlike you i don't need 20 people gathered together in a private fucking call to take down one person earlier today i get into a private call talking with some youtubers about some shit that happened with pyro back in 2016. sorry i know how how dare i be so anti-social anyway moving on diorio I debunk his shit because he basically says, oh, this boldface lie makes me question the sincerity of Pyro, blah, blah, blah. So I gave him a screenshot and I say A plus logic. I was watching a Diorio video where he basically shat and ex exposed Keemstar for slander doxing and attempted hacking. Funny. So if we're using, again, the same logic that these idiots wanted to push out yesterday, then Keemstar's credibility is just as bad as Pyro, and we can safely arrive at the conclusion that Keemstar is just using slandering attacks on Pyro, right? Isn't that funny how it works out, my guy? Isn't it just so hilarious? But the spurg out doesn't end there, as the Oreo goes ahead and he tries to bait me. However, he didn't know that my intention in getting his attention was just to bait him into saying something that I want these commentary clowns to say, because they don't have balls to do it. I know why, but I was just testing it out. So, what ends up happening is I try to bait the Oreo into saying that Pyro is a P3O, right? And why do I do this? Because... I've arrived at the conclusion, and if you guys haven't either, the reason these guys are doing the fence-sitting shit, right, like Diorio, he's saying that, oh, we can use the, uh, we can use this pattern of behavior to reach a conclusion, and, you know, Turkey Tom doing the same womanly shit, they're all doing the womanly shit, so, you know, these quote-unquote men are doing this, right, I know why they're doing it. Right, so I'm trying to get the Oreo to state what he is blatantly implying and has been blatantly implying this whole time. Because guess what? Implications can be as bad as statements. The only thing is implications are used because you're too chicken shit to say the real thing. Because you don't want to take responsibility for the bullshit you say. But you will sneakily go ahead and try to get other people that are irrelevant. No offense. Right? No offense, you know this. Diorio, you have a fucking ego, okay? You understand this logic. Don't try to act like you don't. But you, you're taking irrelevant people to pass on your message. That's what you're doing, Diorio. You're a mongoloid, but you're not that dumb. Alright? Anyway, Diorio tries to get me to watch his video because he thinks that, well, that's the smart thing to do. So I basically say, you're too scared to call out Pyro, or you're too scared to call him a P3DO, even though you freaking imply it every time you can. And then he resorts to an ad hominem attack, because that's the smart thing to do when you're countered. Right, Diorio? You smart, smart individual. Seriously, how in the blue hell do these commentary clowns and Tommy C ever think that it's a smart idea to actually think Nicholas Diorio is a smart person? Look, these commentary clowns shine in blood sports because they're too fucking stupid to actually debate. That's the bottom fucking line. They don't fucking debate. They just use attacks, character attacks, gotchas, past laundry, dirty laundry. That's all they fucking use because they're not fucking smart. They're retards. I don't know why it's so hard for people to understand this, right? Anyway, Diorio goes ahead and he says that I'm accusing him of something. I'm just pointing out what he's making obvious, but I guess that's an accusation to him. He gets really defensive like a woman, and then he, he says that I haven't presented a, a legitimate argument, I guess. And and then he just says he'll look down on me or whatever, which I just kind of have to say, why, why so mad, bro? I don't mean to sound like a troll or whatever, because that's the troll response. Why are you so mad, bro? <laughs> yeah, but those, the trolls are retards. That's the difference between me and the trolls. No offense. I know my worth. Like, seriously though, why are you so mad? I showed you a screenshot and said you should call Pyro what you're implying he is. It's not my fault that you look like a woman, chicken shit, uh, little bitch, 
because you don't want to do it because you want to push that message without having repercussions. And that's why I said I hope that the worst possible thing happens to you people and you get hit with a legal, with something, with something in the real world, like league of legal magnitude because you guys are terrible fucking people, right? You guys do know that this could, like I said, cause Pyro to yeet us delete us, right? You do know that, right? I don't care if people say that's not your fucking intention. You could very well cause that. And then I know what you commentary clowns are gonna do. You're gonna go ahead and say, Oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't want this to happen. Oh my god, I implied he was a death sentence. For so long, but I didn't want this to happen. Uh, you know, I apply, leave the memories alone. And, and shit like that. Yeah, That's what you retards are gonna do. Alright, tell me not. Tell me not. You are so easy to pinpoint. Your behavioral patterns in itself are so easy. So easy, Nick. I just hope Turkey Tom gives me more of a challenge than you. Because this is so fucking sad at this point. I see a lot of you commentary clowns also picking certain individuals to say they were, you know, fence sitters or, you know... Oh my god, how dare you not make up your mind on whether Pyro is a P3DO or not? Are you fucking retarded, mate? Nicholas Diorio does the same shit! My distaste for people like you. It's not about Pyro. It's not that I like Pyro. I'm not a fanboy, Nick. I just don't like you, and I don't like people like you, and I never will. And <laughs> if I didn't have reason to, li to like Keemstar before, or rather, if I didn't have a reason to dislike Keemstar before, I sure do, do now because he tried to shit and bury Diesel for no reason. And you know what? He's still too chicken shit to admit Diesel Patches wasn't in the call. The way that you keep the psychopaths at bay is to develop the inner psychopath so that you know one when you see one. Right, and then, but that's a voluntary thing. It's, it's, it's so it's like a, it's like a, a set of tools that you have at your disposal, which is full knowledge of evil, and that does. Nietzsche said, if you look into an abyss for too long, you risk having the abyss gaze back into you. Right.